Hello everybody, Princess Bear here and we're back in Animal Kingdom because the princess dragged me out of bed today for some sort of surprise. He doesn't know what we're doing. I have no clue what we're doing. Do you want to know what we're doing now? I guess you can tell them. I didn't want to know. She did offer to tell me. I didn't want to know. Today we are at Animal Kingdom because we are going to go do the Caring with the Giants experience. Huh? It is a backstage on stage tour with the elephants. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and never forget, neither should you. Hit the subscribe button and let's go. Subscribe, yes. I heard the drum. Hello there, how's it going? Thanks. We got name tags. If you pronounce it wrong, you're in trouble. I mean, nobody pronounces my name wrong. Okay, like maybe 60% of the time it's pronounced wrong. Our names aren't. Actually, maybe it's 80% of the time it's pronounced wrong. But whatever, we got name tags. Habitat's very, very big. If you want to be seen, they will be seen. If not, eh, okay. we leave it up to them, alrighty? In just a few seconds, we'll be heading backstage. So our backstage, just as a reminder, there's no photos and videos allowed whatsoever, but when we get up to the elephant viewing area, start taking those photos and videos again. Sounds good? Alrighty. Everybody ready? All right, let's head on out. That's little Stella, little Stella elephant, and then that's her mother, Donna. So Donna is the mother of all, of all three of these elephants right over here. She is five years old, she'll be six and seven. Now we have three groups of elephants for the most part. We have what we call the Donnas, the Vashas, and the Boys. Um, when I try and figure out which group is out, make sure we're not waving at them, please. Good question. I don't know. I've actually never read that book or watched the movie. Is, is her name Stella? Yes. Oh. I haven't read it yet, but I think it's about a big. Atlanta? I think it was Atlanta. It was over there. Yeah. I'll probably read it for again or to make room for. Either it means something in a different language or it's a reference to something. Nadira, I don't really know what Nadira means. Um, I do know like some of our rhinos, like Kiyama, hers is magic, it means magic. Um, Zawadi means the gift. There's a lot of Zawadis that live here. There's a Zawadi that's a gorilla, there's an Okapi, there's a zebra. There's too many Zawadis. When there, when more, when animals are named, when you name a bunch of your animals Zawadi, and then you're like, oh, they're the gift. It loses its meaning. It mm -hmm. makes them less unique. Mm -hmm. um, Luna and Adira will be elephants. as well. If I don't see Donna, then I look for another elephant that's very easy to tell apart. Her name is Vasha. She's got one tusk. So she's the mother of two of our other um, elephants, Kianga, her daughter, and Jabali. If Vasha is out, then I know Kianga will also be out. And then Nadira and Luna will also be out because they grew up with them, so they can be put with both groups. Um, <laughs> Jabali is her son, though. Jabali is 12, 11. He's 11 now. Um, he, in the wild, he would have been separated from the herd anyway around that time. So he separated himself. We actually got to see that happen um, like in real time for the most part. So he decided for himself that he was good and ready to go to be separated from his mother. So what did he what, start doing? Like refusing to come out or not just... refusing to come out, he would come out, but he would kind of choose to like, okay, I'm kinda ready to go back in, like go off a little further away, come back, come a little further, come back, and then
Sabo and Jabali, super easy as well. We call Jabali Jabaldi. He's got no tail hair. Savo, opposite. Tail hair touches the floor. And then Mac is Mac is Mac. Mac is the biggest. You will know. You will know who Mac is. Also, Mac's tusks are very similar to Sabo's. Savo and Kianga are all half siblings. Same dad, different mom. Yep. So their dad isn't here anymore. Their dad is it. It's birds? No? Same as Jess. Yeah, so. We have a breeding program in the ACA for a lot of our animals, so we will kind of train our animals back and forth. Like I said, there are 238 different ACA facilities, and we all do work together, and we can train around our animals um, with that breeding program. So it kind of takes a lot, especially when it comes to training around animals, especially elephants. Sometimes it's a little easier to do to trade around samples than it is a whole elephant. So it can be done, obviously, because we do want to make room for some of our other elephants, especially if we want babies. We have to make room. Um, we don't have a, limit, a limitless supply of space. We have to do it. Do have to make room. Um, but also, sometimes it can just be a challenge. So a lot of our animals are crate trained. Um, even giraffes, or giraffes are crate trained. There are only, th I believe, three uh, giraffe crates in the world. group them saying like this group of jellyfish from the Atlanta Aquarium can be with blah blah blah. It's a lot easier to do it that way when it comes to fish but with bigger animals individual like you can do it individually um, and they look at their genetics and see who they're, um, who they're related to that way they don't get any inbreeding. We want to make sure they're all genetic, genetically diverse because I like to think of that breeding program as like a last fashion of defense. If anything happens out the wild we have a population of disease we can fall back on that we can reintroduce them generationally and slowly. Um, but with that being said, those people, those are called slipbook holders. Um, sometimes they could be here, sometimes they could be elsewhere. For a Maasai giraffe, that person who actually has a running list of all of those giraffes works at the Maryland Zoo. Um, hello. Um, for elephants, I don't really know. But we do have a breeding program for even smaller animals too, like Mexican red meat tarantulas. One of our zoological managers, his name is Jamie, is a slipbook holder for Mexican red meat tarantulas. What do you think? Yes. Because you mentioned the black rhino that there's only 5,000. Is that one of the species that they have picked up? Our veterinary staff went over to Guam to help reintroduce a lot of uh, Guam kingfishes and Guam trails. Birds are a lot easier to reintroduce than it is like other animals uh, because they kind of know what to do. They kind of get their of it. Um, bigger animals can take some time. So with our elephants, some other Asian credit facilities sent over a couple as well. Um, now there are 30 on that reserve. This is Siwa or Ziwa, depending on if their language pronounces the Z the way we do. Um, this, that sanctuary, that's where those rhinos are, but they're all given still a lot of human care because that's what they grew up with. Are the instincts there? Yes. Do they know how to act on those instincts? No. That's passed down from their, from their parents. Okay. No, you're good. You're good. If you guys want to use this, it's a little photo frame, so if you want to hold it, Aww. you can hold it by the handle so we can have it with yourself in it, and then have Dada and Anna. Right yeah. Um, but, we went off on the tangent. I did. Talking about breeding for and all of Mac. And then, uh, two of Mac's kids, they're not related. Nadira and Mac are not related at all. So, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly, it's perfectly good. But yeah, so the AZ is going to dictate all of them. So we can go ahead and great segue into that enrichment training. So like I mentioned before, our keepers will do a lot of training with their animals. It's all called enrichment training. Um, asking them to perform different Like I said, they ask them to present their ear in order to get blood draws. I think Luna's knocked out. I think she's about, she's about to, she's slipping. Oh, she's slipping. She's about to fall asleep. It's like a submissive thing too. Yeah, so they're like showing their backside, they're basically saying like, I'm submissive to you, I know you're in charge of me. Yeah. So, I think it's also, it's very much apparent with the boys, because you can see that with them when they, because they always fight. They're always tussling because, and that's how they practice those skills when it comes to fighting, when they have to compete for females, because they don't have to compete for females. Um, they still do it anyway. Yeah. But, going back to that Richard training, 
they do a lot of that training so that way they can provide for their um like participate in their own health care so like um, we mentioned in the old maps with this is the animal kingdom the very first episode mac is in the very first episode they had they asked him to do a salute when they do a salute they put their trunks up on their head it forces their mouth open they wanted to see if he was doing okay in there because he had like a, a hole like an abscess 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 there we go mm -hmm. always forget what it's called an abscess yeah so they wanted to make sure that it was nice and safe and it wasn't infected. so it was good um but that's where that training actually comes in so something like that so when they do that training they're not giving them nothing in return they're giving them their most favorite foods so like i mentioned before in that field their favorite foods aren't grown there because it's it's a lot of like produce so they love sweet potatoes apples carrots has anybody ever had like a honey crisp apple before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pretty good right they're my favorite kind of apples they get those all the time yeah awesome and honestly like the sweet potatoes carrots and apples that you would get at like restaurants or stuff like that true and if we can be confirmed so um elephants in hollywood and old cartoons and stuff like that what do we think that they're afraid of mice we think they're afraid of mice right they actually really don't care yeah. for mice does anybody know what they are actually afraid of them from what is it what do they say bees. in this one? bees yeah they're afraid of bees. bees yes so the reason why is because they will sting them now mm -hmm. if they sting them on their on their outer skin it it's not going to feel pleasant, but they'll be fine. But they can sting them on their ears Aww. and by their eyes and Aww. inside their trunk. Aww. So elephants don't like this buzzing by elephants. And when they hear that, they literally stop what they're doing, have their ears fanned out, trying to listen for it. And then they leave in a cloud of dust. Like they run, <laughs> they literally run away from these bees. Um, so we also did some work with them as well with Dr. Lucy King. Um, to test it with our elephants as well. So we put this around some of our elephants and that way we can record their voices. That way we can try and figure out exactly what they're saying and what they actually meant. So we played those sounds in this habitat and trying to figure out exactly what they were trying to say for the most part. So we took a lot of that information and we started arms. So we'll be set up like real beehive, dummy hive, real beehive, dummy hive, all surrounding that rock. Because what really hurts elephants out in the wild a lot is um, retaliation. So, for a lot of people, they're pets. They eat their crops, they eat their, their livelihood, so they how they make money. If their crops aren't there, how are they supposed to make any money? How are they supposed to provide for their families? What are they supposed to do? Now, you out there is trying to mitigate that, trying to make it so that a lot of these animals can coexist with big animals. So that is why they have the honey hives that's there to make sure that they, the wires, it agitates the bees and they start to buzz and that's when the elephants just not even deal with it, not even go near it. So definitely look it up because it's really, really cool. It's a great project because it helps out the local community, it helps out the people, and it helps out the animals. Uh, not just the elephants, but the bees. So, and it also gives the farmers another source of income rather than for one of my favorite things that is the bee bees. Um, so when it's so low in frequency, the bees just can't hear it. You can't hear it at all. But it travels through the earth. It travels through the ground very, very quickly. So they can pick it up with their feet. I kind of compare it to like, if you've ever seen Avatar The Last Airbender, mm -hmm. like talk, how she can see with her bending through her feet, mm -hmm. she picks up the vibrations through her feet, just like how elephants will pick up the vibrations in their feet as well. Mm -hmm. so that kind of like talk, really cool. I remember the other side of the she's at the So they're more than. Yeah, yeah. They don't have like a C. Yeah, yeah. So they, they'll do it, they'll cycle one. 
But then it takes like two years to incubate yeah. the baby. 23 months. The gestation yeah. period of an elephant, 23 months. Yep. 22 months. Yeah. For Stella, it's 23. Stella yeah. loves to see I'm not ready yet. <laughs> It is just the elephant team. They only, only work with the elephants because working with elephants is very, very intricate, very, very complex. So I'll also give you a scope of that. When they go and do those reaccreditations every five years for those pretty easy facilities. Just to look at elephants. Just look at elephants. It's very intricate. It's very complex when it comes to elephants. So that's why we only have a few elephant keeper team. Um, when you join that team, it takes you two years of working with that team to actually start to do any training when it comes to elephants. The, the, the old saying, elephants are forget, it's true. It's true. They have their favorite keepers that they love to work with. For instance, there's a keeper her name is Bridget. Mac loves Bridget. Does everything for Bridget. Does all that jade for Bridget. Is, you know, okay, let me tell this. Um, Donna is not like to her keeper. Every single time she tries to do any training, she won't do anything. <laughs> She'll, it'll be like pulling teeth when it comes, when it comes to it, so she just doesn't. It's so much, it's the same thing. Very interesting, very interesting. A lot of our keepers on the honor of the team have worked with either elephants in the public facility or have worked as a member at a different ACA facility for many, many years. So, That has been the gentle, what gentle giants? Yeah, caring for giants. Giants, I think is what it's called. Uh, that was an excellent tour for barely the price of two adult beverages here at the. Uh, yeah, well, maybe like four adult beverages, but still. Uh, to come in here, you get like a, a nice like bus tour, a little bit backstage, which obviously we couldn't show you, and then you get the, a nice platform where they talk all about the elements and the conservation methods. Uh, how they tell the elephants apart. It, it was a very good informative tool yeah. for not much part of your day, honestly. One it's hour. Like, One hour. You were worried you're coming here and say like the safari line, uh, you're worried about coming you know, from out of town the safari line too much, and you've done the safari before, I was just doing this. Yeah, and uh, you do need a park reservation in order to do this. You can't just buy the experience and yeah. come, so make sure you do make a reservation as well. But if you guys want to see us do more things like this, of course, let us know in the comments below. We had a great time. We would love an excuse to do it again. For real. So by all means, if anything else you want to see us do here or anywhere else, that's always going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And maybe if we get 100 likes, I'll book the Rhino experience. Make it 200. But you heard the girl.